Hello, I'm Kim Rat, and we're interrupting your schedule to bring you some breaking news on the wild and wonderful world of gaming. Let's go! First up, we have Wu Long Fallen Dynasty, which was released on the 3rd of March 2023. Yes, 3323. Wu Long is an action RPG from Team Ninja, the creators of Neo. It is set in the later parts of the Han Dynasty and will have you fighting demons. While this looks challenging, fun, and very cool, early reviews indicate there are some problems that take the fun of the Han Dynasty. What problems? Game crashing, performance issues, repetitive and unskippable tutorials. These are what have been mentioned in early reviews. Some reviewers even recommend playing Neo 2 instead. Yeah, just like that. I won't be getting the game just yet, and I recommend you do the same. I still think that this could be a fun Dynasty game if they fix the issues. And if you are still looking to play the game, my advice to you would be wait for the developers to patch it up before you purchase. Next up, Digimon World Next Order. This is a part of an old PlayStation game and was released on February 2023. And you know what? I'm, I was surprised. I didn't even know it was being ported until a couple of weeks ago. And I love Digimon. I know, epic journalism fail. Reviews so far have been very positive, particularly for gamers who love the original version. Although, apparently, there are some minor issues. Look, if you like games where you collect monsters, <coughs> Pokemon, and also take care of it, including bringing it to the toilet, I know, sounds like Sai Kang, but Trust me, it's way more fun. To me, the only real downside is the price tag. $80 is way too much for a port. And I would say only the biggest poke I mean Digimon fans would be willing to pay. Otherwise, wait for a sale. Have you guessed what's the next game yet? I think it's going to be a fun one. DC's Justice League Cosmic Chaos released on 10th of March 2023. Looks cute. It's an isometric open world RPG where you fight bad guys as your favorite DC superheroes. Amazingly, this game is bright, very bright and colorful. Totally unlike the DC aesthetic we have seen elsewhere and I like it. It's a breath of fresh air. Having said that, I am not sure if I will be getting the game yet, but the visuals and the multiplayer capabilities have been interested. Keep watching Overclock for more updates. <laughs> Did that scare you? The last game I want to tell you about is Sons of the Forest. This sequel to 2013's Forest was released on February 2023 in Early Access on Steam. If you're looking for a survival game with an emphasis on survival, eat your heart out as Sons of the Forest is only $26 right now. Though the game is still incomplete, the excitement is real. The graphics is mind-blowing and the horrors on the island are more horrifying. So that's it for this week's Game Watch. What were your thoughts? Were any of the games mentioned one you're looking forward to? 
tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, and you know the drill, you know. With that, this is Kimrat signing off. Darmic will be back next week with Overclock.